party going on right now but um check out my hair i got it straightened for the first time by a professional and um if you live in arizona girl i'm gonna leave her card down below in the description because she did a superb job and i know i get a lot of comments or not even just comments but i get a lot of emails from my viewers asking me uh, if there's any good Arizona hairstylist that I recommend and now honestly I had not gone to a hairstylist um, since being relaxed aside from going to Terry um, the woman that uh, gave me my highlights which are pretty much gone now they're like non-existent but that is okay um, because I'm happy with my dark hair I'm really loving it right now and um, so Terry was the only person that I had gone to since being natural. Uh, so my did my hair, she hooked me up. And um, her salon is in Scottsdale. I'll leave the description down below. No, I'm not being paid to say this. I'm just really happy with um, the service that I got. I have been in contact with her for quite some time now and I've been uh, pretty much texting her like, yeah, I'm gonna get my hair done by you. Like, I really need my hair done. I always like change, so I think the first time I was hitting her up was like, yeah, I think I wanna get a weave or something because she's like the weave queen out here in Arizona. Um, but I changed my mind. I was like, you know what? I wanna do something with my real hair. Um, honestly, I'm just, you know, tired of covering it up and um, my scalp is happy right now. Uh, so I'm like, let me just flaunt off my real hair for a while. And plus the holidays are here. So what's more better than to rock my own hair during the holidays? Um, but there's nothing wrong with getting a weave or a wig. I know RPG show, I just posted that video. They're doing 70, uh, $70 off of their wigs for the holidays um, or for Black Friday. So I think that ends like on the 20 or the 30th, 28th, something like that. I posted that video yesterday. So check yesterday's video out. Um, uh, also, what else? What else? What else? What else? Okay, yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't knock your wigs or the weaves because I do it too. I'm a fun natural. Hashtag fun naturals. Love you guys. Fun naturals out there wanting to experiment. I told you guys I was gonna straighten my hair. I tried to straighten it on my own, and I used the minimal heat setting, so my hair did not get straight at all. So I went to my, and she hooked me up. I'm so happy with it. It's so soft and I've been rocking my deep side part so far and um, yeah, that's it. And I wanted to come to you guys and just show you guys first before I posted any Instagram pictures and had you guys asking questions and all that stuff. I just wanted to be able to have a video out first before I posted that Instagram picture. But of course, if you do follow me on Twitter, then um, you already know I posted a picture yesterday like, oh, hi. Just got straight hair, no big deal. I'm so happy with it, I'm so excited. It feels so good, gosh. Um, no, I would still never go back to a relaxer because like I said in the first place, when I went natural, I went natural because of a horrible reaction that happened to my scalp and I told myself, hey, I will never ever relax again. I didn't know what I was doing, I just so happened to, to go natural, I wasn't gonna do it anymore. Everybody was like, what are you gonna do? And I was just like, I don't know. I'm just not getting a relaxer anymore, ever again. So I was never against straight hair. However, I was against that creamy crack on my own hair because um, it was horrible. It was a horrible experience. Um, and it feels good to, to, to have this look right now going on. I like it. I really like it. And you know what? I want to send a special shout out to all of you who I have, um, who sent me a message letting me know that I inspired them to go natural and 
and all that stuff and, and any message that I've received you know I read every single message and I like to make it a point every now and then and come by and do a video and just thank you guys because you really lift me up and and you encourage me to keep on doing what I'm doing because sometimes we all kind of become a little downer and like oh maybe I should stop doing that but well you know I really appreciate those messages that I get from you guys um, let me tell you guys about the do. So pretty much she shampooed, deep conditioned my hair and all that good stuff. I sat under the dryer for about 15 minutes or so. Um, and then what did she do? She, she blew my hair out and then she just used a flat iron and flat ironed it. Um, and that was last week, that was on Friday of last week. Um, mind you, oh my goodness, I picked the perfect day to get it done. It was raining all day, like crazy, and it rained all that weekend, so I'm just like, oh, look at me, the natural with straight hair, and it's raining all week. I can't even enjoy it because I'm like, cover everywhere I go, I'm like, covered up, I'm like, it's crazy. Um, so yeah, so she, she blew it out, she, she flat ironed it all, I guess, ah. <laughs> I'm doing too much. Every night I've just been pin curling it with um, bobby pins and clippities, clip clips, these little things. And I just put a bonnet on. This is my go-to bonnet for my hair right now. You know, the one that looks like a shower cap, but it's, it's like satin. This ain't silk. It's satin. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's all my hair. Oh yeah, so like I said, she cut out um, most of the color. So this is on me, except for like a little bit of color on the ends. Oh, okay guys, so initially when I went there, I, I was like, cut it off. I was gonna go get a bob, guys. So I was like, I cut my hair into a bob and I said I'll never cut it again. I was like, really? You know, I know I'm like, I am such an impulsive person when it comes to my hair, just like when I cut my bangs and I was like, Rob, don't ever let me cut my bangs again. And I cut my bangs anyway, and I was like, dang, I shouldn't have cut my bangs. Even though I liked how it looked, I was just like, dang, I shouldn't have cut it. Um, so I was like, you know what, okay, I'm not going to cut it yet. We're going to wear it straight, and then when I come back, we'll decide if I want to cut it or not. Um, pretty much it's because, okay, this is why I was like, I got to book an appointment immediately. Because um, I used Hannah. And I was like, this is gonna make my hair nice and moisturized. And, you know, I get to wear, you know, it's gonna be perfect. The holidays are coming around. Hair's gonna be nice and moist for the holidays. On point, nothing else, enough said. That was a completely different story. My hair was not moisturized. I kept the henna in overnight. Um, I used the Caca Noir from Lush. I picked that up. You guys, if you live in Arizona if you're, and you're looking for a Lush, I went to the Lush at Fashion Square. Um, never doing it again. We'll never touch Lush's Hannah again. Unfortunately, um, I thought I... No comment. But I did hear good things about Hannah, like authentic Hannah. So if you're going to go Hannah, don't go Lush Hannah. Go authentic Hannah and do it the real way um because again i you know i did want to get dark hair and i wanted my um highlights to be gone so um that didn't work had a bad day hair day for about three days very bad oh my god Ugh. somebody hooked me up and i'm very happy with it uh yeah for naturals for naturals stand up happy thanksgiving guys um yeah, I guess that's about it. I guess I guess I can just call it a night. And um, wishing you guys a happy Thanksgiving. Make sure you spend it with the people that you absolutely love and adore. Do that. Peace and love. I'm signing out with my straight pal.